Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now this is an experimental video and I want to mention that it is not sponsored by Fiverr or the design of the website that I'm going to show you. It's just something that caught my attention that actually there are people on Fiverr who are creating course websites for less than a hundred dollars and I was like hey why don't I give it a shot because I already had an idea in my mind to create a course section on my website and I wanted to test out how actually a $75 course website would look like. And this is the video. So just like anyone else, when you come to Fiverr, you keep browsing through different categories and service providers, and maybe something catches your eye. And that's what actually happened to me. I ended up falling onto a seller who was actually creating a course website. This is actually the seller who I worked with and they were providing this gig where they will do a Landash website. I'm actually in shock currently that they actually no longer offer this gig. But when we go back here into my orders, I placed an order on the 22nd. So the seller actually promises to create an online course website for me using Landash, Elementor and actually Astra. The total was 75 and here they said they will create a website using Landash and one course for me. So on the requirements, obviously I had to provide a platform they are going to be using. And here goes all our chat history, providing the details and everything that is required for this order. This included me sending them uh, the files, text and including images, also the videos for the very one course that we are going to add on my course website. So long story short, the order was delivered about 14 days later because the seller actually requested for more days from the actual 10 days that they had requested. So I added them four more days and then they had to deliver the website. And boom, here is the website that they actually created for me. And from the very word go, I was kind of impressed by just a few specifics. For example, the header is a transparent header, having a menu, call to actions, social media icons added, a hero section, a good one. Of course, I would still have to make changes to some of these images to suit what I want. Over here, they added another section which actually kind of summarizes or gives a hint of what this course website is all about. And here is the one course that I promised to add on the website. And here is where they also add some other categories. Just in case I provide uh, courses in different niches, I really like the footer area and also this call to action over here and also that the designer managed to bring along some of these logos for places where I have actually been featured. So if now I move to the about page, so she could actually go and pick up some of the text for my about page on the blog and added some of this text and also added some of the images I had provided. And this is actually an old image that is on my blog. When you go there, you will actually find it on my about page and another section including testimonials and obviously the footer section and the course area. This is where actually all the courses should actually be listed. That is when I actually release the website out. And obviously she starts with the hero section and the one course listed, but I'm interested in checking out this. So when I say buy now, obviously I'm already logged in, so I don't go to PayPal, but she could manage to integrate WooCommerce and my course website so that someone is able to actually buy using PayPal. I like the mere fact that the course is here published and I can see the course description and also the course content here. She actually provided a sample tutorial, an introduction to the course and boom, here I come where the course sections are actually listed and also the introductory video, which is actually Actually for free and obviously they won't be able to watch these other sections once they have not bought the course but I like this I like the fact that actually the course is there and the videos are there and I think this is more to have my course on a dummy website on the internet in 15 days for $75 this is more than good enough but let's first go to the uh, contact page the designer actually added a contact form though this contact form actually goes nowhere if someone uses it to send any email so I was kind of disappointed with that because the designer didn't take any time to actually make sure that this uh, contact form actually delivers emails. Now, these are my general observations and feelings about this website from the front end. It is more of a dummy website template kind of sort that was imported and the designer simply just added some of these sections just like you would expect for a $75 website. But this designer did actually take any time to customize like some of these sections are not needed. Like it is just too much. I just wanted something very, very simple. And I actually tried to show her some of the sample sites that I would love I had to pick an idea from on how my website would look like. Put aside the demo kind of feeling or template 
kind of feeling of this website i also really didn't want these other pages like the home the about page contact i really didn't need these pages because i wanted simply the course functionality and then simply i can integrate it onto my website somewhere like here like courses when they click over here then they are simply redirected to the course subdomain and they can simply get started learning from over there however it looks like this is a separate website that has to be running on its own and yet the designer actually saw that this is a subdomain and had also explained that this is basically a course website generally speaking i would give this designer a 60 because they managed to put up stuff for a lesser amount and kind of works out of the box though they could actually make it a little bit better by customizing some of the sections and i have something that is only suited for me because this again requires me a lot more time as someone who wanted to offset some work to someone else to do it then i'm going to end up doing the same work like you know clearing some of these things and trying to understand how they build what and how i really didn't like that part of leaving most of this dummy content on the site now let's go into the dashboard and we see how this website looks like so i'm going to start with the appearance section we want to look into the themes so it looks like actually the designer used the astra theme to set up this website and now let's go to the plugins and what kind of plugins they were using i realized they installed the classic editor they used used Elementor, they used Landash and obviously the Landash integration with WooCommerce. The designer also used some Gutenberg add-ons and obviously there is WooCommerce installed. The designer used WP Forms to set up the contact form. But there is one red mark over here and the red mark is that she actually used Landash and Landash is a premium software and I realized that the designer didn't add a license. It gives me a feeling that the Landash plugin I'm using is not coming directly from the plugin author and that actually raises security issues for me otherwise i expected to have you know a working version of landash because when we come over here to landash when we come to pricing actually this designer would buy the 25 site license if we divide 369 uh, by 25 sites it means that this designer would actually be paying 14 dollars roughly 15 dollars for every active install she does now let's look into landash and look at the setup of this course so when we come over here to view obviously there's no license queue over here and when we look into courses the designer managed to create one course for me and it is listed over here if i say edit course this takes me straight to the course builder just like you see over right here when we go look into the lessons here are the, all the lessons all the course sections neatly done but for 75 dollars this is more than what they should have done back to my general feeling and overview and what i think about this whole experience as a designer or as a web designer obviously i cannot do a 75 dollar project just that i was intrigued by the offerings and i wanted to look into what these designers are actually offering to their clients i would prefer to sit down and work on my own project yes it may seem time consuming but i actually dumped more time in the trash you know waiting for this project to be done and delivered and at the same time i dumped my money in the trash instead i would have actually saved one and wasted the other i would have wasted my time and worked on the project and saved my dollars because at the end of the day i'm going to have to redo this site or hire someone to do it let me know down in the comment box below what you think about this video would you go out to fiverr and hire a designer for 75 dollars or for two thousand dollars or you would actually sit down and do your own project by watching tutorials on the channel just like this thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video give it a like and see you in the next video